I mean, the the so the district I'm running for is infamous because our council member uh, was caught on tape gerrymandering districts against black folks and you know engaging in racist and homophobic language. And when those tapes came out at the last election, I was just like, I've had it. <laughs> I'm I'm tired. Like we can't have this kind of like racist you know, bigotry and leadership in this city that's like supposed to be very progressive, right? And so, mm -hmm. especially emerging from the pandemic, when I was an eviction defense attorney and just watching folks fall through the cracks, you know, I was representing small business and tenants and some of my clients, our main, like my main focus of clients were Filipinos and APIs and just seeing these seniors struggling to be like staying where they're at, right? And just so sad. And for me, it was like the economic realities that I had known growing up as a daughter of undocumented folks, as a teen mom on food stamps, had just worsened.